Hello everybody. This video is a special video to me for a few reasons. You see, this video demonstrates the special character of the cannabis community. <clears throat> it's almost mysterious how compassionate the community is. I experienced this compassion uh, while my son was in treatment for cancer. As many of you know, I wouldn't be where I am without the giving and caring of a few good strangers from the cannabis community. We did have help from our friends and family and our church, but the generosity of the cannabis community is what has allowed me to become a grower and make lives better. This video today is a story about a dad who in a desperate situation reached out to me for whatever help I could give. Now I realize many of you have reached out in a similar fashion and I wish I could help everybody. However, this family lives in my home state and is going through something that my family and I went through. I won't go into the details just yet. I'll tell you that after a few emails, I decided to go and meet this family and maybe uh, bring them some oil to see if it would help. We had a nice visit and afterward I asked the dad if they would be okay with me sharing their story here with you. He said that was fine, and on my way out of town, I recorded the following thoughts. Then, just this past weekend, they were able to stop by my home for a visit on their way to Denver for some exams and appointments. The footage I have here is from that visit. Here we are driving through the Taos Canyon. For those of you that know, it's super cool. You can kind of see it there in the corner, but I can't get a good visual of it on my phone while I'm driving sorry about the glasses it's uh, dusk and it's hard to see okay so we just met with a guy named Patrick and his wonderful family and we drove down uh, to Española New Mexico now Patrick's a former army veteran that did a lot for our country now he's a firefighter in Santa Fe they got three kids three boys uh, a couple older ones and a two-year-old. Well, they just found out in September, a couple months ago, the youngsters got a brain tumor. We smack dab in the middle of his brain. And they caught it just in time. He's got a port and he's going through chemo. Patrick reached out to me online after watching a video was desperate to start growing and to do something to help his son. I told him, whoa, 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 slow down. What you're going through with your son, I went through. I know what it's like, and it's gonna take a lot, and that's what you gotta focus on. Growing also takes a lot, and providing for your son, I know is something that you wanna do, but now is probably not the best time. I tell you what, I'll give you anything you could have grown yourself, and extracted the oils, I'll give you whatever you need, in the meantime, while your son goes through treatment, that could be up to a year. So he he was he was okay with that, and we had a good visit. They're a good family, and, and, and I know what it's like to, to you know get that news and get blindsided by life and all your plans that you had kind of go on the back burner, and then you start thinking, you know. The biggest thought I had was, oh shit, where am I going to bury my son? And I know the parents that go through this struggle with those thoughts. And it's tough. It's important that they have people around them, family, friends, strangers, to encourage them and support them. It's the least I can do because, you know, a thousand people helped us when we went through it. And we couldn't have done it without it. Now it's my turn to give back. That's why we do this. That's why you grow pot. To change people's lives, to make people's lives better, to provide for the people that need it or that maybe can't do it themselves. You know, like I told Patrick on my way out, I want to advocate that everybody grows, that's able, and helps everybody that they can. Grow your own big heavy THC, send you to the moon, 
strains, but grow a little bit for somebody else too, because we gotta take care of these kids and old people that can use this medicine. We're different. This pot growing community is different. I talked to Patrick and got permission, you know, to discuss the story and to possibly uh, film his son and his and his process and his treatment. And I think it's a wonderful example of how and why, not just why we should be doing this, but exactly how he wants to set up a grow. He wants to provide this healing medicine. And hopefully down the road we can do that. We can walk you through the process, documenting it. Hopefully we'll follow along with Xavier's treatment and get good news. And they'll get the same kind of news that I got where the doctor's like, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. Because that tumor's shrinking. That's our goal, people. They have a GoFundMe, and it's more important that you go fund them than you go fund me. Because uh, they're just at the beginning of this stage where uh, it's, it's, it's overwhelming. And the more help they get, I got it from strangers, you guys are strangers, but this guy's not a stranger. This guy's an American that went out and kicked some ass and sacrificed got hurt out there in Iraq and whatnot. And now he's at, come home and he's firefighting, keeping the streets safe, picking up the pieces on the car wrecks. I could never do that. We owe it to him. Thank you. you know, nobody likes to see a two-year-old struggling with the brain tumor. So get your checkbook out buy so many Starbucks and send them some money. I'll put the link in the description. Wow, if that doesn't tear your heart out, you better check your pulse. Now, as terrible as that prognosis is, this family has a lot of hope. Hope, obviously, in the faith that they have. But also in this cannabinoid treatment area. You see, Patrick sent me this article. I'll read a few lines. Accumulating evidence indicates that cannabinoids have potent anti-tumor functions and might be used successfully in the treatment of GBM. Recent phase 2 clinical trials indicated positive results regarding the survival of GBM patients upon cannabinoid treatment. I'll link to this article, or the link should be down in the description to this article. It's fascinating. Get into it, dig into it. Look, like I said, the point of this video is to explain what the cannabis community has always been and what it may be in danger of no longer being when this massive explosion of the commercial industry comes on board. It's up to us, the home growers, to learn how to carry this torch of growing, extracting, giving away medicine, treatments, therapeutics that help people's lives. You know, just as good if not better than going to the fucking doctor and you, you don't have to leave your house. Let's support this family. The link to the fundraiser is down below. Now, I remember when I went through it, we raised a good amount of money on our, uh, I think it was you caring 
sight. And that saved our ass. If any of you are those that gave, thank you. And now it's my turn to give back. I'll give what I can to this family. You do the same. And take this, you know, take this as a reminder of why we do this. I said it a hundred times in this video, but do this to make your life better. But do it to make other people's lives better too. Next video will be a little bit more on uh, some how-tos. But we're actually starting to film on Monday. This will probably come out on Thursday. Monday we're filming. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 12 hour days. I'm going to get what I can done. So know that all the educational material is on the horizon. Thank you for your support. Also, I'm going to tentatively say that our website, which not quite ready yet. God damn it. Not quite ready yet. I'll make a separate video on that. Thank you for watching again. Do what you can to help. See you next time. Oh, and for those of you sunglass complainers, dude, I had to wear these in the beginning to read the teleprompter and not look weird like a news anchor because I can't remember that shit. And then here at the end, you know, if you don't have tears in your eyes, something wrong. Take care.